All right, hi guys, I'm Alex Kwong. This is my studio space in uh, Voltage Creative Garage in Marta Loop. Um, I just rent out this corner here. This, uh, it's an old auto garage. Uh, this is some of the work I'm going, I got going on right now. What's this bad boy here? Uh, so this is a collaboration with, uh, with myself and Megan Gench. She rents a space right beside me, so we actually just did this on last Friday. We were just sort of hanging out here, having a couple glasses of wine, and just threw this together. How long uh, would something like that take you? Um, this, this was, uh, I'm actually not totally sure how, how long this one took. It was just the evening though, it was nice. It no way, <laughs> sweet. It came together uh, really well. Um, you know, some, sometimes the collaborations, they just, you just mesh and you just sort of hit that, hit that uh, rhythm and it's just back and forth. So um, she does all the abstract stuff and then I just sort of pull like the facial features forward through like a few do like my stylistic stuff in there and um, and then she sort of beefs up some of the forms and throws her stuff and it was just this cool thing just back and forth. Big enough canvas for us to just sort of both be there. Yeah. Doing it together, right? Um, and then who's this young lady over here? Oh. <laughs> well, this one I pulled straight from, from, the, uh, from the imagination, you know, so I'm still waiting to meet her. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> And then this one here is a. So this, this one is a. Uh, this one's a commission I got going on. Um, it's a triptych. So there's the, uh, the piece. Oh, sweet. It goes, it goes this way like that. Um, so we just work on the face a little bit, bring these uh, strands of hair out, and then throw some color, probably like some red or something, just like make it pop. Um, and that should be going out to the client in like the next next few days here. That's badass. All right, we are joined here today, and uh, or I'm joining Alex in his uh, amazing studio. Um, what, do you, what do you guys call this place again? Uh, Voltage Creative Garage. Voltage Creative. Um, and Alex, I've known you for probably about let's say ten years now. Yeah, it's ten from years. University. Now. <laughs> and I literally had no idea that you, you know, were doing any of the art stuff in university. Is, is this something that kind of just came on afterwards? Or? Um, yeah, you know, it, it like through uni university, it was maybe like a school project here and there. Like I do, like just put something together, like, you know, poster, presentation, whatever, do a little sketch, right? But I, I didn't really do much art at all. And then it was when I graduated, I started preparing for, to, uh, to apply for architecture. And all these architects were just like, just paint do anything creative. So I just started painting, drawing, and you know, I was like, man, like, you know, 10 hours would go by, you know, before I couldn't focus on anything studying like more than like 30 seconds, right? I'm just, uh, you know, then, then I'm painting, and it's like 10 hours goes by, I haven't eaten, I haven't done anything. So I'm like, okay, well clearly, clearly like I, I, was, I didn't have ADD. I just wasn't paying attention, or I just wasn't engaged in anything that I was actually, you know, interested in, right? So. Um, after I started doing that, posting my stuff on social media, people were, you know, responding to it really well, you know, mostly friends and family. And I just was like, oh man, you know, it was like just the momentum started going and all that art was, it was super basic, right? Um, just like all self-taught stuff. And, uh, so yeah. as, as like a kid, were you noticeably the most artistic in the class or? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it, you know, it's sort of funny when you're, when you're growing up and teachers go, oh, you know, you're talented, keep it up. But, you know, then it's really like, okay, you know, you know we all know that doesn't really go anywhere. Okay. Right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be a painter. You're not going to be an artist, right? Like, go pick up the math book, go pick up the science book and, like, get real with something here, right? So I just sort of put it on, like, the back burner. I just, uh, you know, anytime, like, an easy A or, like, group project, I'll do the title page, I'll do the poster board, just anything. Um, and, uh, yeah, like it was just didn't, yeah, didn't pay too much attention to it, but it was always there, like that sort of knack for it. Like as like a young kid, I would always draw and then just sort of phased out, probably stopped really drawing around maybe like junior high school and yeah, just failed an art class in high school. Are actually. you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. But that was, I was just wasting time. I wasn't paying attention. I was just skipping class, right? You know? <laughs> what we <laughs> all did. Yeah, meeting up with buddies kidding. on spares <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, it was sort of like I tapped back into that like as a kid, like or what I was doing as a kid. 
and you know just all this life experience I was able to sort of divulge everything I've learned like through my artwork is which and that's what I'm doing now so uh, how did everything start with kind of this I guess organization that you guys have started in this uh, this building here um actually it, it uh, like I don't know I don't really know I guess it uh, like the, the the operators Andrea Llewellyn and um, uh, Kelly Johnsgard, they uh, they just had this space going on, and then we got connected through a mutual friend. I was painting a food truck, uh, Soul Kitchen Barbecue Co. Right, I remember seeing um, that. And I just needed a space to paint, and I'm like looking around, like you know, trying to not break the bank on like painting bays and stuff. So I just decided I'd uh, you know maybe just look for like an empty parking lot or something to paint it in, and you know, mutual friend was like, hey man, you know, like this spot is open. Um, and like I knew Andrea since I was a kid, but like I hadn't talked to her in probably like 20 years. And so we connected, she's like, hey, you can paint it here. Um, and also if you want a studio space here, all yours. So Sweet. got hooked up with that. And it just sort of started building from there. Got some other artists in here. And yeah, now it's just like this sort of crazy, creative place, just this creative, like creative vibes, just all over the place. The guys, you can see, it's just shit all over the walls. Oh, <laughs> and how many artists would you say are there? About six or seven? Uh, or? I think right now there's five. Um, and they're like, we do like a hot pass thing where sometimes there's just like a week long studio space, like a, like a, just an artist can be like, hey, like I just have some paintings I got to bang out in a week and I'll just, you know, rent it out, get all my stuff and just do like 24 seven, just like bam, 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 bam. And then just pick up and go. That's crazy. So, uh, sorry to backtrack a bit, but um, what was it that was one of your, I guess, first paintings or public projects that kind of got your notoriety out there? Um, man, it was, yeah, it was uh, like I started out, uh, I decided I was going to do an art show um, and I just, I, I started doing like photorealism portraits and sort of building off that, like I had to get them framed. I had to... Um, you know, meet people for, like, just, like, in the art community, like, hey, like, advertising, blah, 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 and people just started sort of passing my name around, like, giving me more opportunities, so had my art show, that went pretty well, and then my framing, the lady I frame with, uh, Gabby at Impact Framing, she passed my name along, actually, oh, no, that was, she passed my, my name along to, like, a hotel that was looking for art to hang. Okay. Um, so me, like, as a beginning artist, I get my stuff in this hotel, like that was awesome. And then I was at SAID at the same time, I was setting up all my art show, all my art show stuff. And I did an internship at this advertising agency. And this guy, like the, uh, the owner of the, uh, of the firm, referred me to this Tourism Calgary event that was going on in Toronto. And they just wanted an artist to sort of represent Calgary, do some Calgary art. and. I'm like totally unprepared for that. Like I have no business, <laughs> I have no business going up there, man. So like, they I, just came up to you and offered this? Um, well, I went, I went for an interview. Like oh, he referred okay, me yeah. for an interview, yeah. just go to this interview. And I'm like, yeah, like this is sort of what I paint. And it was just like, like super abstract stuff. Like it was just sort of like messy, like writing. And, and then like also like my portraits. And so they wanted me to just, you know, paint like Calgary stuff. And I'm like, okay, uh, like, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I came up with this policy where I just say yes to at least 75% of the things that I feel scare the hell out of me. Yeah. Oh, you know? for sure. It's just like my policy now. I'm like, I just say yes and I just show up and I do it. And sometimes I crash and burn, which was the case on the first day in, in Toronto. <laughs> well, um, what happened? So you did, so, so you ultimately ended up getting it, right? Yeah. So, so they, they were like, yeah, like we'll, we'll go with you. Um, you know, like booked me like the ticket booked me into like what is it, like the palace or something or the uh like the fairmont out in toronto okay yeah and you know so this all like went back to back it was like my my first art show the hotel opening like grand opening for this hotel my art's there you know i'm getting like walking around seeing my art there and like all this like media stuff and and then after that i'm like hop on a plane to go to toronto and i'm just there like on the plane like First, like half of me is like, man, like you are so out of, out of your league right now. <laughs> Second thing was like, whose life is this, man? <laughs> like, this is not, <laughs> like, you're just some guy, like what? Like, right? like, 
man, somebody might have made a huge mistake. <laughs> you know, you know? <laughs> but I'm going to ride this out. Yeah. You know, worst comes to worst, it's just a good story, right? So I get to, get to Toronto and, um, you know, they, they were like, hey, you know, like if you can paint, like, you know, the Calgary Tower, like Calgary scenes, anything. And I'm just like, yeah, like, I'll just do whatever. Like, I'm happy for the opportunity, whatever you want, you know. Um, so show up the first day. Not a very good painting, I gotta say. <laughs> Not a very good so painting. So the whole project was to paint <clears throat> oh. several paintings throughout the week, or well, yeah, so yeah, I guess I should go over like what the project was. the The project was to paint uh, like a live mural at a festival representing okay. Calgary in the harbor in Toronto. So like, there's uh, they had um, like some opera singers, they had um, like a First Nations dancer, like the hoop cool. dancer, um, and like some chefs. It was just like it was a super cool event, and I've never painted or drawn with anybody watching me, period. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can do this. I think I can do it. <laughs> so, so I have like these, like this 16 foot high, like pillar, like it's like a vinyl wrap that I have to paint on like both days. So the first day I'm doing, trying to do these Calgary scenes and like I'm, I'm letting some kids like get in there cause I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll hand it off to some kids here. <laughs> we can all just get involved here. So like the kids sort of end up actually sort of taking over like the first day. And with, were the kids gets artistic out of too? Or? Um, you know, it was, it sort of started out just, it looked like, you know, like a school desk almost, right? Yeah. Just like kids like drawing this and then some kid would come over and like mess up that kid's drawing. Or like some kid draws like a stick man and some kid comes and like, cuts that kid's head off on the like this drawing and i'm just like this is getting out of control so work. <laughs> this spiraled out of control real quick and like the painter was just i was like oh man like everyone was around i'm just like okay well whatever so <laughs> so then i uh um the next day i'm like there, like waiting for the bus i'm like, I'm like okay like what uh, what am i gonna paint today like i really don't know and I'm talking to some of like the like one one of the ladies um, in like the opera singing group. She's like, "Oh yeah, like what are you gonna paint today?" And so I'm like, "I don't know. I'm sort of freaking out. Like I just have nothing. Like I don't know." And she's like, "What about like you know like we so we, we started shooting around ideas, and the idea of painting Nenshi came up." Okay. And I was like, "Yeah, that's it. Like I Done. do portraits. <laughs> We're gonna do it." So. <clears throat> I have my iPad, run to the concierge desk. I'm like, I need your Wi-Fi password. Like, the car's leaving in like two minutes to go down to the harbor. So get the Wi-Fi password. Google Nenshi, first photo, like, boom, download that. That's the on one. The iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Pop in the car, just like, man. Like, oh. So did the organizer come up to you after the first day and was like, no, you're going to need to bring your aid. You know? <laughs> You're like, like you can see it in people's faces when, when like, you know, when people are like, I don't know what you painted today. <laughs> like, you know, like I've dropped off some commissions and stuff and people look at it like, so what's, what's going on here? Yeah. You know, and like you see it and you're like, okay, like, let's just ride off manners right okay. now. <laughs> you know, like everyone's yeah. being nice. <laughs> so, so I was like, well, we can't have that happen again. Um, and uh, so I get down to the harbor open up my suitcase, which I then realized at that moment, I only brought like red oh, no. and yellow oh, paint. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, Calgary theme, maybe we can like work some Calgary flames type stuff in there. And like, all, like also like some black paint and stuff. Like I was painting black. Um, so luckily like I had done like this, like one like quick painting workshop that taught me like a little bit of color theory. Oh no way. Some, like yeah. shading like, like two weeks prior. And I was like, okay, like back, back, back to that like think think back to there like you're using color you this isn't like this is not your domain right so only so, red and yellow you didn't like have any other red colors. yellow and then i had this tiny tube of blue oh, no. like the size of like <laughs> like a poly foreign oh, no. <laughs> tube, <right? Jeez. laughs> and so i'm like okay well you know here goes nothing right we can't go worse than yesterday <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> and so just like you have the ipad there just like sort of kick off and we're doing it and, you know, and it like, I just sort of got in my zone and it just took off and went super well. Um, everyone was like, oh man, like this is unreal. Like I was all of a sudden I'm being like interviewed by like this, um, like one of like the media groups there. And, and this was before it had even hit uh, social networking in Calgary, right? Cause I know well, it blew well, up with well, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, pe people were tweeting it. People tweeted Nenshi. You know, Nenshi retweeted, he's like, I guess, I guess I'm getting painted in Toronto. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. So, um, 
so yeah, like it, it, it blew up. Like a lot of like people were just snapping photos. I got a lot of lot of like like great response out of that. Like that was awesome. Um, so it was, and it sort of like spoke to like how I I guess I continued like sort of go about my stuff. Like I sort of start at the very bottom, <laughs> and then I just dig myself out of the hole, oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? which has been like the theme of like my whole like career. <laughs> yeah. Like that was a terrible painting. Next one, like, <laughs> oh, okay, you know. Um, but yeah, like it was, it was unreal, man. Um, got a huge, yeah, huge response. Um, come back to Calgary and everyone's like, oh man, like that was unreal. Like it's just crazy. And yeah, I'm like just sort of riding out this thing. Like once again, like, I don't know whose life this is, <laughs> but I'm going to, I'm going to ride this out for as long as I can. Yeah. yeah. So, um, was it at that point that you decided to kind of give up on the architecture and make this your full-time gig or? Yeah, I actually, I got offered this job and it was like, it was a really good job to do with like graphic design and everything. And I was like, ah, oh, like, I don't know. I think like got this art show coming up. I'm going to do all this stuff. And so I think I'm just going to focus on the art. Yeah. Cause that's like the only thing like out of every job I've ever had, like I just super underachiever doing a bare <laughs> minimum, you know, like taking no initiative. Right. <laughs> And so I was like, finally, like, I know exactly what to do. Like when, you know, like when I really like calm myself down, like think like with the art, like I know sort of like where I'm going with it. Like I have like this vision so sort of tapped into this vision. So I was like, yeah, no, like I'm just going to do the art show, see where that goes. And the guy's like, man, like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you could, you could go, like you could work, you know, you could hit a job and then um, retire and then you can paint all you want. I was like, I got a buddy that does that. He does photography now. He loves it. And he doesn't have to worry about money. And, you know, you should just do that. And I was just like, man, like, that sounds like a nightmare. You know, like, no offense, but that sounds like a nightmare. Like, to, live, to work somebody else's, like, dream my whole life to then realize mine, like, once I'm retired. And then be like, oh, man, I should have been doing this forever. Right? So, so the way I look at it now is that I can, I can always go back. And For enter sure. the rat race, yeah, you know, yeah. but like I'm young right now. I have the energy to do it. I should just give this like, you know, best shot I can and see where it goes. Right. Well, it seems like you're doing pretty damn good with it. So, yeah. Far. <laughs> um, and yeah. The, the, the one thing we came over to see you the other day at uh, paper street and uh, that mural, unbelievable rat pack, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did a, did a rat pack mural over there. Um, and that was like, so like, that's basically where I'm trying to take things is do these live murals in Calgary yeah. and try to help, um, like mold the, the culture in Calgary and even just sort of like the education for like appreciation of art, um, where, you know, people get involved and they get to see it being made. Um, and, uh, you know, just get that emotional attachment and sort of understand things a little bit more when they see it. Like, Oh, you know, like I used to just see art on the surface level, but now I see the whole process. Um, and now I can like, I can see sort of where this person existed in this painting, right? Rather than just final piece, you know, showed up on my, showed up one day and I just hung it on the wall, right? It's like, no, like I was there and like I saw, I saw a mess up and we were all worried. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, then he brought it, it back around, <laughs> yeah. which happened to Paper Street. Like my first stroke, it, like, like right there, like the can sort of exploded oh and just like God. shot white paint all over this. <laughs> and I'm just like, and it went on like, all right, I'm DJ's done record. here. <laughs> yeah. Went on the DJ's record and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like, okay, taking stride, like keep going. Right. Um, so, and, and like, I, I continue to try to like do stuff like that, where like I put myself in that position where I might fail miserably. Um, and it just sort of allows me to just, I guess, grow and like sort of shatter that comfort zone. Right. So, um, now, I guess one of the things I was wondering is, um, I think for, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like uh, I could never do something like this. <laughs> like, this is just something that lives in your brain or? Yeah, it's, it's like tapping into it. Um, and like, once you really tap into it and get away, like get away from all the, uh, sort of like the noise of the world, it's just, it almost, it just already exists there. For me, like I can, like I just see like what I'm gonna do and I'm getting better at executing it, like exactly how I see it. But you know, there's definitely, there's definitely times where like it goes, it goes badly and you know, canvases get demolished <laughs> or you know, each canvas has like 15 paintings of like layers of paintings, like no, no. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of tapping into it. Uh, this sort of the same way, like as I was saying earlier with um, 
like if like an engineer, like you, you train that engineer mind, yeah. you know, problem, solution, problem, solution, you get that mechanical mind. If you're thinking like that all the time, you're just able to like arrive at these solutions before they're even like really a problem or anything, right? So <clears throat> I'm living in this just creative space where that's all I think about every day. Like, like it's just 24 seven, even like when I'm sleeping, I'm like sleeping. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh that was, that, that's was a good that was dope. That was dope. I'm like, and I'm like, you gonna are you gonna open your eyes and like go get the notepad or like you're gonna try to like say this in your head over and over so it's still there when you wake up, you know? So it's just it like it never really shuts off once you really tap into it, um, and uh, so that's like it was never really there for me before. Like I never knew what to paint, but after tapping into it, it's just like boom. Like I just I know what I'm gonna do, um, and I know. Like, I just sort of know, like, the next move. Like, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's interesting. And it's still building. It, it just changes. It evolves yeah. like, every day. So uh, the, the spray paint can, um, where did this become incorporated? Like, did you have to hone your skills with the spray paint can or? Yeah, like I'm, I'm definitely like a noob on the, on the spray and paint what can. But I've seen like... you do the two hands. <laughs> and, like, it's intense. It's yeah, absolutely it's, uh, intense. You know, I, I uh, like, I'll just spending a lot of time, wasting a lot of paint. Um, <laughs> and just, it's uh, like, it, it, it pretty much, it spawns from like two things. One being that I'm, I'm extremely lazy. Like I don't wanna, I don't wanna <laughs> clean a brush. <laughs> you know? And like my, my studio is scattered with like brushes that are just dried paint because I was like, you know, I painted, then I just moved on with my life. <laughs> you know, like, Somebody else is cleaning that like, up. Whatever, right? yeah. And so like spray paint, it's like, I can just show up and boom, like we're in business and we're yeah. going, right? And then I can just put the, put the can down and, you know, until next time. There's whatever. no cleanup job. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, for the most part, there's no cleanup job. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was that. And then, um, wait, so, wait, what I, so like just, yeah, the laziness. And then also like the, uh, it's sort of like glamorized like right now, right? Like oh, everyone, for sure. Everyone like loves that the spray Street paint. Street artist, right? essentially, yeah. right? Like, yeah. you know, and <clears throat> like I'm not, I'm not a graffiti artist by any means. And like, I don't try to like, like do that or anything, but it's just, it's just another tool in the box, right? So I figure like if I can just utilize that in my own way, then <clears throat> that's really what it's all about. Right? Well, and especially when you have the, uh, the full on gas mask on, it's pretty badass. I yeah. Would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? yeah so. people really eat that up. <laughs> so where do you see all of this going um, in the next little while here? Like, do you have a vision for where your own business and uh, kind of the Calgary art scene as a whole is going? Yeah, um, pretty much like for me, like I feel like I tapped into like a vision, like it's not even really my vision. I just tapped into something where like now I feel like I have this responsibility to execute it because I feel like someone has to do it and I'm here, I might as well just do it, right? So. Basically what I want to do is I want to do like massive, massive murals, um, like 10 story buildings no and way. I want to try to do it all freehand. Like I don't want to use like a projector or anything or like a grid system. I just want to go up there and figure it out, you know, crash and burn a few times and then, you know, eventually pull it all together. Like I'm pretty new to all this. So, but like I'm learning as fast as I can. So I want to blow up the art into like huge scales, sort of bring Calgary into you know up to speed on like the art almost community. like montreal's yeah, art scene yeah exactly right and calgary calgary's good for that where like you put a brick in the wall and like you see that brick in the wall right it's not so diluted like uh like these big cities like new york where it's just like man like, well you know the artists like <laughs> cool man like, cool, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what you need, you need like a like rent a room with nine people yeah. <laughs> like, exactly paid, exactly you know yeah. so um, so doing that and then you know, we're gonna do a clothing line as well I'm gonna like co-brand that with my artwork. Oh cool. Um, so that's gonna be called anti king We're just working on building that stuff right now and getting some product and we're gonna push that um, And then me and me and my friend who's the comedian, you know, Ben Ben. Um, yeah, ben great guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, We're doing a podcast as well to help sort of bridge the gap between artists and creatives or just any like entrepreneur where like just the information can flow a little easier. People can basically what you're doing, right? Um, and uh, 
you know, hopefully totally smother your zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> no, but, but, you know, so just like, like whatever it takes to help like build these communities, you know? So what, when are you guys planning to launch your podcast? Did you have a name for it yet? Um, we're going to call it, I believe we're going to call it The Stew. The Stew. The Stew, yeah. yeah. Worst podcast <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. No, that'll be good. And that's, I'm, yeah. I'm glad that there's people getting yeah, in we'll, on in we'll this We'll get as you on well. there. Yeah. 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 And um, so I think we're going to try to shoot for probably I like realistically I think it's probably gonna be about like autumn around that time um, just like summer's been crazy this year's flying by For sure and like you know so much stuff going on right Ben's busy with like a bunch of stuff so and like I'm trying to juggle all these these mural this mural work like in the summer while the weather's good and then um, we'll get back to it once sort of, sort of things settle down yeah yeah um, yeah so yeah so just trying to do the large scale murals, do like these live painting events, do the clothing line podcast and just like help like build the, uh, build the community and just get people, get people inspired, like just sort of ignite that flame in people where people, um, are like, Oh man, like Alex is doing this and Alex grew up down the street from me. He's just Why some can't? guy. Yeah. Like I'm going to go figure out what I like to do and then I'm going to do it and just like do it to the fullest or, right. or like just to whatever I guess extent you want to do it, but just sort of get re-engaged in your life, right? You know, especially in Calgary, it's it's hard. Like Alberta's got like rough hit this past these past couple of years, right? So just sort of getting people excited about things and getting engaged, building things, right? So I know you're <clears throat> also trying to help out with, uh, I guess, up and coming artists. Um, what's one of kind of I, I guess the more negative things you're seeing with the way they're treated um, within uh, the art community. It, it's all the, the exposure, the exposure. Um, you know, there's, there's different levels. Like, like I'm still, I'm still developing as an artist. I'm still sort of establishing myself. Um, but it's this thing where people want to make money off the artists, but they don't want to give the artists any money. And, you know, you definitely have to do the exposure events. Like when you start out, where it's like, hey, you know, like you just have a platform for me to be involved in. People can know that I exist. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Um, but when like, you know, sometimes these people are just making all this money, like throwing an art event and they utilize all the art to draw people in to make money. And these artists are like, no, they don't get worse. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so like I've seen some of these events, like I've been a part of some of these events. Like I see all this money like flowing around. You know, like you got like these expensive drinks. You got, you know, like you like ten dollar drinks. Yeah. You got twenty dollar tickets, and I'm s sitting there, like, a, you know, just sitting there with, with my art. Like, does anybody care? <laughs> does anybody care about what I'm doing over here? I'm over you know? here. You know, yeah. like you know, someone just comes by, like snaps a selfie, like, yo, check it out, you know, whatever, you right? Out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you know. So, um, you know, and, and like, there's there's definitely some points where like it's it's definitely good like you, you got to sort of do that stuff and like learn um and then but then you need to elevate beyond that so your what you kind of your goal is to raise awareness to that to up-and-coming artists and uh prevent you know them from being over you know exposed i guess right like yeah like well you just like being taken advantage yeah, of yeah um you know and like you know like i've been ripped off before where people just go like oh like you know like, oh, i'm not going to pay you like we agreed on exposure or something and this exposure is great right and, you know, that's, for me, I'm like, okay, you know, like, I'm going to continue. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but. We'll see you out back. <laughs> <the building. laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's just, uh, it's like, it's really, it's sickening sometimes the way you just yeah, see yeah. people don't want to pay artists. And, but people will pay for everything else, you know? They'll pay for, you know, like, like you're going to get a wall painted. You're going to pay a guy to just paint the wall white. Yeah but you don't want to pay a guy, you know, a little bit more to like do a mural or like paint a canvas or anything. Right. So there's definitely situations where artists are just, and artists are so happy to be like out there doing exactly. stuff. They're just, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I used to be like, oh, yeah, I'll do whatever, like just whatever. Right. And then, you know, the money, the money time comes and everyone's just like, Oh yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. Oh, you know, <laughs> Jeez. Well, right. uh, 
Yeah, awesome. This has been uh, an unreal interview, and uh, I'm sure we're going to be doing a lot of work uh, yeah. down the road eventually. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you so yeah. much for coming well, on. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, best of luck with all the future endeavors. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Check out the stew. <laughs> Check out the stew. <laughs>